Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am bringing you my go-to makeup and hair look. I posted some stories on my Instagram, taking my hair out of hot rollers and kind of like touching up my makeup. A lot of you guys were asking for an updated get ready with me, showing you guys how I get this look, which I'm always rocking. It's pretty much like my go-to signature glam. It's neutral and glam, but not too much. It's not smoky. I would call this like the signature Rosita look with the wing. This is a look that I always go for when I'm going out and I want to feel my best but I don't want to feel like I'm doing too much like I don't have too much time but I have enough time to actually do like a glam because for every day like running out the door I'll just throw on mascara and go in this video I'm also showing you how I do my hair and this look believe it or not requires minimal heat I am using hot rollers but I'm not like curling my hair or doing the most like it's very simple because I'm not too into styling my hair I love using hair products but I don't really like like curling my hair this is kind of like the lazy way to get like a blowout look without actually doing the most if you know you know if you've been around that you know that I have some videos like back in the day using hot rollers it's like the easiest way to get like bouncy blowout hair I'm also gonna show you guys my favorite products to refresh my hair and to make it look clean even when it's not if you want to see how I get this signature hair and makeup look then just keep on watching I'm gonna get started with this hair you can kind of see that my hair is a little bit wavy towards my crown like by my roots I've talked about this line before on my channel specifically this spirulina protein smoothing spray this is a keratin like treatment so it gives you 24 hour frizz control and it's also a heat protectant i like using the soothing spray or the four in one prep spray i already applied those but my hair was damp so a trick that i've been doing to get my hair to not be as oily is to actually use dry shampoo before it's too oily whether it's after a workout or i just want my hair to look and feel fresh i love using this first class charcoal detox dry shampoo this one also smells amazing like i love all of these sprays from IGK. They smell like an expensive fragrance and I love that. I love for my hair to smell good and it uses charcoal powder so you want to just go ahead and give it a good shake and then section off your hair and apply and this dry shampoo is going to be on sale so it's going to be 50% off May 5th so it comes out to $16 and you get a whole lot. They also have a smaller one like a travel size which I also have. It's honestly such a good price for this product because it smells good and it does work. It gives your scalp a refresh. It feels like you just washed your hair. I've been using this dry shampoo along with the good behavior for what feels like forever and I love their products so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to my scalp let it kind of sit and then rub it in And because I'm styling my hair with like body and just giving it a lot of volume, I'm going to apply some of this Beach Club by IGK. It's a volumizing texture spray. This also smells phenomenal. So I'm going to apply the texture spray before I do the hot rollers because my hair doesn't really hold a curl. So having a little bit of like a texturizing spray in it kind of gives it a little bit of a grip and will help the wave kind of stay in a little longer because my hair just doesn't want to hold anything. So this helps with prolonging any style that I do. If I'm wearing my hair straight, I would skip this one because today we're giving it a little bit of a boost and some volume I'm gonna apply Beach Club Now I'm going to section my hair off and apply the rollers. I'm not too precise with the rollers because I'm really just doing this to give me some body and some volume Roll my hair into the rollers. They're already heated up boom clip it after I'm done if I want to make it like a little bit sleeker a little smoother I'll take a flat iron and just kind of smooth out my baby hairs you could do that before but because my hair doesn't hold a curl I'll do that after but I'll show you guys that It looks a little crazy, but just trust the process. One good thing about hot rollers though is that your hair is out of your face and now I can focus on my makeup. So let me zoom you in. First things first, I'm going to conceal under my eyebrows and I'm using the same concealer that I'm gonna be using under my eyes. This one is from Rose Ink and it's in the shade LX050. And I like to conceal my eyebrows before filling them in. I'm gonna be listening to music in between because that's how I always do my makeup is with music in the background. Yeah. 
as you can see I have a ton of pigmentation on my eyelid mainly from like irritation from different products specifically like lashes and eyeliners my eyelids get very red it's really important for me to use a concealer that isn't drying also like if I use too much product like I just did right now I'll just take like a fluffy brush and blend it out for some reason the fluffy brush just works better on these dry areas I've talked a lot about this on my channel about me having allergies and irritations to products I've narrowed down like what ingredients I can't use which are like formaldehyde and this ingredient called MCI even if I use products that don't have those ingredients I'm still experiencing this problem but we just gotta work around it I'm gonna go ahead and set that with a little bit of powder for eyeshadow I'm doing a matte neutral look which is my go-to so I'm taking this makeup by Mario master mattes palette and I'm going in with this like neutral brown and a little bit of the color right next to it I kind of play around with these three shades to lighten it up tap off the excess and just begin to buff that into the crease I like to look straight into a mirror to know exactly how far I'm going so I don't want to go above my crease Now I'm taking the darker brown right underneath. Focusing this on this outer V. Next I'm going to take this Ilia bronzer in the shade Novelty. It's too dark for me to use as a bronzer, but I love it as a crease shade. It just adds so much warmth. To brighten up the lid space, I'm going to take this lighter like peachy cream shade. Pat that onto the lid. Of course, we're gonna do a wing, so I'm gonna take this Makeup by Mario liquid eyeliner, hold my breath, and hope that my wing doesn't come out too big, because that's always the case, but you just never know where your wing wants to go. Let's do this. I like to start in the middle of my eye, and then go outward. Now I'm going to take a black pencil liner. This one is from Kat Von D. It's the new Tattoo Pencil Liner and Trooper. And I'm going to tight line the upper rim so that there's no space between the liner and the lash. It just kind of completes the look, it makes it look more seamless. For lashes, I'm using these from Sephora, but I don't have the name of them. I'm gonna try to find them because I really like this style. I like that these are a little bit more dramatic, but don't have a super black band because that's what I'm allergic to. I know that these are newer lashes from Sephora. I think they're like the flow collection I like to just trim off a little bit of the end measure them cut off a little bit measure them again and just keep on trimming to fit my eye that looks about right the glue that I use they also sell at Sephora it's my favorite it's the duo white and green this glue is from aldehyde free and I love that it doesn't irritate me it's the actual lashes like the lash band if it's thick and very black that it will irritate me thinner more invisible banded lashes do not while the glue is drying I'm going to apply a coat of mascara here's where I'll go in with a little bit more brown in my crease if I want to deepen it a little bit or just continue to blend it out but if I want it to be a little more dramatic while the lashes are drying i will reinforce this crease by adding a little bit more and continue to blend but also keeping this lid area bright now that the glue has dried i can go ahead and pop these lashes on these are not as dramatic as i usually go but i actually like that these are perfect for smaller eyes or almond eyes Next, I'm going in with foundation. I'm using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. It's oil-free, has SPF 30, and I'm using the shade Oak. This is my song. I'm going to apply the foundation first with a brush and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. That's what I've been doing lately so that the Beauty Blender doesn't eat up all my foundation because, girl, it's expensive. Okay. I'm using a brush to press in the foundation but also blend it, and I'm using downward strokes. Concealer rose ink one that I used before While that concealer dries a little bit, I'm gonna mix the powders that I'm gonna be using They're both from La Mercier translucent and translucent honey I basically take a little bit of both on one of the caps 
I pretty much use more of honey and less of the translucent, but it's a little concoction that I do to bake. Honey is a lot more yellow. I should get a container and actually like mix them and I already have this like pre-made, but I find that when I use both of these colors combined, it just looks a lot better. If I use translucent on its own, it's nice, and if I use honey on its own, it's nice, but when I use them together, there's just something about it that I love. Put that on the side, ready to go, and then go ahead and blend this concealer. Skin is also a little irritated. I'm not sure what's irritated. Irritating me. I really hope it's not this foundation because I was able to use this foundation with no problems But my skin has been changing and now just likes to get texture for no reason So all that I've been using is this foundation the Lancome one that I love and that I also have been using for a really long time And these Laura Mercier powders which again I've been using for a long time So I'm really trying to figure out what is breaking me out. It might be the Charlotte Tilbury spray because it does have a fragrance Anything with fragrance irritates me like these Givenchy powders. I love them, but they have a fragrance Huda Beauty powder also have a fragrance so i'm really careful and picky about what i use on my face i'm gonna cream contour just a little bit using the westman atelier face trace contour stick in truffle And with a dry sponge using that mixture tapping off the excess and then pressing it into the under eye bronzing and contouring with the lys beauty love yourself beauty no limits matte bronzer in motivates Sephora Collection Blush in Fascinated. And a little bit of Shame on You. Brightening up my inner corners with the matte white shade in the palette. For brows, I'm gonna switch it up and use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three. I'm gonna take some of that brown, that deeper brown, a little bit of that neutral brown, and apply it to my lower lash line. Connecting it to the wing. I'm gonna take this baking powder off, pressing it in. You already know for the lips, Makeup Forever, Anywhere Caffeine. Makeup by Mario Sierra Lipstick. A little bit of mascara on the lashes. Go over the liner, make sure it's perfect. Some brow gel, Makeup by Mario. This is one of my favorites. I need to get a new one. But like that, this one doesn't flake on the brows. But you guys already know how I work. I go brow, then back to lip, then back to brow. Anastasia Cool Brown Lip Liner. Highlighting with none other but the Dior. My favorite. Let's fix this lip. A little bit of gloss. Sephora Collection Lover Gloss. Blending the liner with the lipstick. Lower Lash Mascara, you already know. My favorite. Kevin Aquan, the Volume Mascara. Before I do the last minute touches to my makeup, I'm gonna let my hair down. Period.
fixing the smooth out my ends and the frizz a little more. I'm going to be using Crybaby by IGK. It's a 72 hour frizz control smoothing serum. I love the packaging for this one. Again, vegan, cruelty free, gluten free, doesn't have SLS, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil. This is a lightweight smoothing serum that controls frizz and also adds shine. So I just use the tiniest amount because my hair gets oily very quickly. I kind of like to just squeeze this in to my ends and then just control any frizz on top. This is where I'll check my makeup, see what else I want to tweak, what I want to fix. For example, right now I want to add a little bit of blush. You know, the minor little tweaks at the end that you guys know I love to do. So, that's what we're going to do. go to glam when I want to feel my best when I want to feel like myself when I don't know what I'm wearing or where I'm going but I want to look glam this is my go-to look this is the look that I'm always wearing on Instagram and let's not forget the hair blowout wear I didn't even like section my hair off when I was doing the hot rollers I feel like even though the hot rollers are hot obviously they use heat they're not as hot or not as damaging as like using a curling iron I don't really like to use curling wands or curling irons you guys know that but I did use a heat protectant the good behavior spirulina protein spray it does protect my hair from the heat but still get the volume and the wave but i don't have to like manually curl each hair because i feel like that's more damaging and just way too tedious for me like it's very rare that i'll sit there and curl every single hair i still want to achieve that look so while i'm doing my makeup this is the perfect way to just have my hair done it's like a lazy girl's dream if you don't like to do your hair definitely get these products because you can get the look without the efforts i'll have everything linked down below and all of the products you can find at sephora including the hair products that i used both the hot rollers as well well as the products and don't forget that the dry shampoo is gonna be 50% off on May 5th so definitely check that out because I'm telling you just the scent alone bomb so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of like a throwback old school kind of vibe where I just get ready have some music but also kind of explain to you what I'm using let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video as opposed to like a voiceover I do want to do more of these but like chatting like a chit chat get ready with me but I honestly don't know how people talk and concentrate like doing a wing liner and answering a question that's a skill but if you guys want me to do a chit chat i definitely am up for the challenge thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys